renters, but also from teachers, from social workers, um, from healthcare workers, from legislators and their aides, from more staff members, even Senator Berkeley's office has contacted us, asking us a simple question that boils down to, is it legal for a landlord to do blank? Uh, very often, the volunteers at CAT and PTU can often answer this question or help answer this question. Uh, the answer is sometimes yes, sorry, it shouldn't be uh, legal. Or maybe, probably, this is a gray area, or no, it's definitely not legal. But then what happens next? And what happens next is, is that the tenant can get an attorney and take their uh, landlord to court, sometimes for the $150 uh, that they would get from a landlord illegally processing their application fee. No attorney is going to actually file a lawsuit for $150. No tenant is going to do that either. Um, the fact of the matter is, it is no one's job right now to investigate these types of complaints and hold landlords accountable. No one's job. Um, this lack of knowledge and rights and enforcement um, and inconsistent forms and recording and data disproportionately affects the most vulnerable members of our community, the uh, members that Katrina mentioned. Um, and, and we're only hearing from the folks who know about um, our mutual organizations and who mostly speak English and have the resources um, and skills to be able to call us, which means that it is extra disproportionately affecting those tenants who don't know about us, uh, whose neighbors and friends don't know about us, and who don't have um, whatever uh, resources necessary in order to reach out. It is critical that your budget include um, a funding for a robust um, office. Uh, that should um, definitely include registration and licensing of landlords. Um, everything needed to collect data on uh, applications, rents, and evictions. It should be able to receive complaints, investigate, and enforce, and provide mediation and dispute resolution. Thank you.